The Multicom Pro MP720856 is a handheld two-channel oscilloscope with a 100 MHz bandwidth. Actually, it is a bit more than that because it is also a multimeter. A Multicom Pro has a wide range of products including tests and tools, electromechanical components and connectors, all exclusively distributed by Farnell. The Multicom Pro MP720856 is part of a family of six oscilloscopes, where the ones with an odd type number also include an arbitrary waveform generator. The MP720856 that we will examine in this video has an even type number, so it does not include a signal generator. The oscilloscope has two channels, a 100 MHz bandwidth, and it can sample at up to 500 mega samples per second in single channel mode. The vertical range goes from 10 mV per division up to 10 V per division for a times one probe. The horizontal range is from 2 nanoseconds per division up to 1000 seconds per division. Triggering options are auto, normal and single on falling or rising edges. You can also trigger manually, but there is no external trigger input. Cursors let you measure time and voltage levels manually. Frequency, period, amplitude, min, max, peak, peak and mean values can be measured automatically. Hidden in the horizontal menu is a counter option for displaying the signal frequency in real time. The Multicom Pro MP720856 is also a 20,000 count multimeter with a DC range from 200 mV up to 1000 V and a true RMS AC range from 200 mV up to 750 V for frequencies from 40 Hz up to 1 kHz. AC and DC currents up to 10 amps are supported. The ohmmeter range is from 10 mO up to 100 mega ohms. The capacitance range is from 1 picofarad to 2 millifarad. Diet and continuity testing is possible too, of course. The box contains a black pouch with the oscilloscope in it, together with a BNC to crocodile lead, a set of multimeter probes, a USB cable and two power adapters, one with UK style prongs and one with European style prongs. Tucked away under the pouch is a passive 100 MHz oscilloscope probe, a quick guide and a datasheet in English. And a surprise, a CD-ROM. There is also a card with important information about the safety tab in the battery compartment that must be removed before using the oscilloscope. Read it! A more detailed user manual is available on the CD-ROM and also as a downloadable PDF on the Farnell website, for which I will leave the link in the description under the video. Here is also a QR code for it. The MP720856 has the size, weight and feel of a multimeter, but with push buttons instead of a large rotary switch. It weighs a little over 500 grams, including the batteries, which are two replaceable 18650 type 2200 mA lithium ion cells. Its 3.5 inch 65K color display has a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. The oscilloscope's inputs are two BNC connectors at the top side. On the right side, behind the lid, are a USB C charge and communication connector and the 1 kHz probe calibration output. Before you can switch on the instrument, you must first remove the safety tab from the battery compartment. If you forget to do this and you try to charge the batteries, the power button blinks red. This means that the oscilloscope is not charging. Pressing the power button in the lower left corner turns on the device. The play pause button lights up green. It then enters the mode you used last time. In oscilloscope mode, pressing a button brings up a menu at the bottom of the screen. The four blue F keys allow selecting options in the menus. The channel 1, channel 2 button toggles the menu between the two channels. Most of the push buttons have oscilloscope related labels, making it easy to find your way around in oscilloscope mode. An interesting feature of the MP720856 is its time base that extends up to 1000 seconds per division, which corresponds to 3 hours and 20 minutes per sweep. This lets you capture slow signals like battery charge or discharge curves. 
Do not forget to deactivate auto power down when using this feature and make sure the batteries are fully charged before you start. The Multicom Pro MP720856 has a specified bandwidth of 100 MHz. The included probe in x10 mode also has a 100 MHz bandwidth. Therefore, their combined bandwidth is lower than 100 MHz. In x1 mode, the bandwidth is 5 MHz. Furthermore, the oscilloscope has a 20 MHz bandwidth limit option that may be activated. Therefore, when trying to measure signals up to 100 MHz, it is important that everything is configured properly and that you know what you are doing. Unfortunately, I do not have the tools to do precise bandwidth measurements, but I can compare the performance of the MP720856 to a well-reputed Tektronix 200 MHz oscilloscope. Using a signal generator, a 24 MHz TTL level square wave is generated and visualized on both scopes. With identical settings on both scopes, they show virtually identical waveforms. The Multicom Pro scope has no averaging option and so its signal is a bit less stable. With a frequency of 5 MHz, it's easier to compare rise times. Again, both scopes give almost identical results. I could draw this graph after sweeping a sine oscillator up to 200 MHz and comparing automatically measured peak-to-peak -peak values. It shows once more that both oscilloscopes show very similar behavior, even up to twice the specified bandwidth of the Multicom Pro. The only notable difference is at about 70 MHz, where the Tektronix shows a dip, while the Multicom Pro has a peak. This is most probably due to my imperfect measurement setup. The Multicom Pro MP720856 in multimeter mode does what you expect of a basic multimeter. It does not have the bar graph display that is often found on other multimeters. Somewhat curious is the way manual ranging works. Pressing the measure range button activates manual mode. Pressing it again lets you walk through the ranges from 2 volts up to 1000 volts. This is all normal. However, when you press the blue F3 key it switches to the 200 millivolts range. Now the auto button no longer works and you must press F3 again to return to auto ranging mode. In multimeter mode uh, some buttons beep when you press them, but not all. In oscilloscope mode the buttons never beep. The buzzer cannot be switched off even though the user manual says it can. From the Farnell website you can download the DS-Wave aka HOS program for Windows that can communicate with the oscilloscope. Again I will leave the link in the description under the video. The same program is also on the CD-ROM. Its user interface is a bit particular, but it does add some features not available on the oscilloscope, like FFT and a few basic mathematical functions. The instrument's USB port must be set to HID mode for DS-Wave to work. In MSC mode, the oscilloscope functions as a thumb drive and you can access saved data like screenshots and presets. The Multicom Pro MP720856 is a portable instrument and therefore its autonomy is important. Idling in oscilloscope mode with the batteries fully charged in factory default settings except for auto power off, the battery lasted for about 5 hours. Recharging took about 3 hours. The autonomy can be improved by lowering the display brightness and making the backlight switch off after a certain time. Also, the display refresh rate has a low setting, which might help uh, save some energy. The battery charge indicator is not very precise, so it is a bit of a guess how much time is left. The low battery warning popping up all the time in the middle of the screen is uh, somewhat inconvenient though. However, since the batteries are replaceable standard types, a second set of charged batteries in your toolbox may help you out in case you can't recharge the device. The Multicom Pro MP720856 is a great tool for maintenance and service engineers that need a portable oscilloscope. Thanks to its built-in multimeter, it doesn't take more space in the toolbox than a normal multimeter would do. Even though it does not have the more advanced or sophisticated functions found on benchtop oscilloscopes, it does seem to respect its specifications and even is usable beyond them. Compared to a 10 times more expensive oscilloscope, I obtained the same results. Therefore, at about only 200 euros, the Multicom Pro MP720856 is definitely excellent value for money. The instrument is practical in the lab too, because it is isolated from the main supply. 
This makes differential measurements easy, even in circuits that are directly connected to the main supply. However, always keep safety in mind. Don't exceed the maximum input voltage of 400 volts and make sure your probe is in times 10 mode or higher. For those of you who are interested in the Multicom Pro MP720856, Farnell has shared with us an exclusive limited time voucher for viewers in Germany, France, the Netherlands, Belgium, Austria and Switzerland. The voucher code is valid until the 1st of April 2024. If you are in the Netherlands or Belgium, key in the code MLTCP10. For those in Germany, France, Austria and Switzerland, please use MLTCMP10. I will leave the voucher codes and full terms and conditions in the video description below.